What's going on guys? My name is not important, but what is important is this week, particularly in Australia, because it is Grand Final Week. Not only for AFL, but also NRL. But more importantly, let's, let's, do, let's get into the AFL one, because that's important for me especially. So yeah. Oh yeah. Week 3 recap to start off as usual. We had Hawthorne versus Fremantle over in Perth. That was an excellent game. Uh, apparently there was, well, before I get into everything, we had, there was a lot of people posting on Facebook saying that the umpires for the weekend were terrible. It doesn't matter, just just play the game. I mean, you're going to get bad umpires. It's, well, not, I'm not saying that they were bad. I mean, you're going to get bad calls in the game. I've had a lot of experience. Like I was at Indoor Nepal the other night. And, yeah, I won't get into that. Yeah, Hawthorne and Frio. Fremantle went down, unfortunately. Well, fortunate. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Fremantle, but I am a fan of Nat Five. He's an excellent player. Really, I've really started to enjoy him over the past, since kind of last year. Woohoo, Hawthorne are in. Probably going to get a lot of hate for that, but anyway. Hawthorne are in the grand final for the fourth year in a row. Going for their third. So it's back to back to back. Hawthorne win that one. 94 to 57 they won. Writing's on the flip side there. You'll probably see my other writing for the next video. The other game. We had West Coast versus North. I It would have been nice to see North win. So Hawthorne can... Easily have that. I say easily because compared to the two teams, North, North is a talent side, but between Hawthorne and North, Hawthorne probably would have smashed them. The game was good. Uh, West Coast won. Let me get the score. 80 to 55. Again, a lot of people complaining about the umpires. Right, let's, let, me, let me tell you another story on Facebook. All right, so, three man, uh, phew, no. Yeah, Fremantle versus Hawthorne. A lot of a lot of fans were saying that there's this Victorian conspiracy with the umpires and that the AFL is always trying to get them to win. But when West Coast won, there was a WA cons conspiracy throughout the umpires and North got ripped off. I mean, for one second fans wanted a Perth team in. Now it's. West Coast, you paid the umpires. It's like, come on, guys, make up your mind. It's terrible to see people just, yeah, it doesn't matter now because it's a Hawthorne West Coast grand final, which should be a great, great game. I'm tipping Hawthorne to win. I'm not going to go against that team, probably ever. Hawthorne to win. I on Friday hopefully you should see me post a layout on the team on the on my site which is down below. Like you got a description. Do you have something? Blog site. I think it's called that. Yeah. Go on there. Or just like Facebook page. Follow on Twitter for um to see first hand. Those, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying no more. So I'll stop talking. So yeah, in that post I'll put the team layout, the score predictions. I, I believe there's a best on ground medal winner too. So stay tuned for that one, okay? We will see what happens then. Quickly before I go, we had the Brownlow medal count last night. Something I only got into since last year. I've won a medal, a Best and Ferris medal award before uh, for my division a few years ago. Great, great night. I screwed up my speech, but I don't care. I won a medal. That's the first ever time I won something in, in a whole division. So, yeah. I mean, it's it's a great night. 
So the favourites to win were Nat Fife, Postman, Girl on a Scooter, or just Girl on a Scooter. Turn it up! Yeah! So yeah, the favourites for to win, getting confused here, were Nat Fife, Matt Prittis, Dan Hannaberry. Dan H Hannaberry? Hannaberry? Hannaberry sounds better. And to Goldstein, who's a ruckman, he was up there, and the light's going down. Light up. Scooter, go away. So I apologise for the whole muck up of the camera audio. Light, ooh. Let there be light. Yeah, the favourites were Nat Five, Matt Prittis, Dan Hanbury, Sam Mitchell was up there, and Todd Goldstein. I uh, don't believe I'm missing anyone else. But yeah, the winner was Nat Five, respectively. He uh, had a great season. Had He missed out last year due to... um, But I don't think it mattered in the end because he lost anyway. But he was... He was in... I can't, okay, I apologise for me pronouncing this word, ineligible, ineligible, I-N-E-L-I-G-I-B-L-E, -E. that word, ineligible, I don't know, but anyway, last year, so he could not, could not win, or well, he lost anyway, so it was good to see him win this year, he's very much deserving, and people were complaining about him, should have been suspending, but who the hell cares? It's they should not have been really that much bigger a deal for what he did. I mean, there's a lot of people complaining about the sports gone soft or whatever. There's a lot of people complaining about the sport has gone soft, but who in the hell cares about a little, a little love tap? Ridiculous. So that will conclude this grand final video. Hawthorne versus West Coast at the MCG on Saturday on Channel 7? Channel 7, mate? 73? One of them? I will... I don't know. Don't have to... And I will... I don't know if I'll put another... The kind of recap grand final video up. I just didn't really think about that until about five seconds ago. So, if I don't see you,